Hey everyone, you're watching Nerdsmerized. I'm Andrew, your host. Uh, this video is actually going to be my top 10 favorite superheroes of all time. So it's going to be my personal pick of the top 10 greatest heroes in my mind throughout all comics. Alright, let's just get started right off the bat. I'm going to go number 10. It's going to be Superman. Yes, the Man of Steel is on my top ten. Um, big fan. I, I love Superman. The fact is, is that Superman is a Kryptonian. First appeared in Action Comics number one. He's one of the top superheroes out there. Probably the strongest superhero in the DC universe altogether. But I mean, all in all, he's a great hero. He's the all-around Boy Scout of the entire universe. So he had to make my Top 10. Great, great hero. Uh, if you're not really affiliated with Superman, which everyone on Earth should be, he's been in so many different movies, comics, adaptations, cartoons. Yeah, great hero. All right. Now we're going to move into number nine. Number nine will be She-Hulk. I love She-Hulk. Her origin's actually really cool. Um, there was actually, uh, in one of the cartoons, she was, they did a really good shot on her origin story. And that was going to be, um, basically, she got into an accident and her cousin, Bruce Banner, had to give her a blood, like, had to donate blood to her to save her life. And so the only way to keep her alive is he donated his gamma-radiated blood, which gave her, turned her into the big green sexy green monster which is She-Hulk. Um, basically She-Hulk is like a judge by day and fights crime by night for the most part. She's been a member of the Avengers. Uh, she was actually a, a, a long-going member of the Fantastic Four. I mean she's been all around the globe. One of the greatest female characters in Marvel Comics is gonna be She-Hulk. Um, but all in all, she had to make my top ten. So she is my number nine pick. Number eight. Number eight for me is going to be Miss Marvel. Um, another one of my favorite female heroes altogether. Not to mention just one of the most badass heroes in all of Marvel comic books. She is a long-standing member of the Avengers. She has one of the coolest origin stories because we had Captain Marvel before and which was a Kree when he died his powers actually got transferred over to her and she became Miss Marvel her first appearance as Miss Marvel was Miss Marvel number one um, actually one of my favorite comic books to read that entire original series Miss Marvel is an amazing series if you haven't read it check it out it's definitely worth the read um, and later on in the series number 16 we get the first cameo appearance of Mystique which is a really major character, and especially in the X Men, in the X Men universe. But all in all, Miss Marvel, there was no way I could do a top ten without putting Miss Marvel on there. It's my wife's favorite female superhero as well. So Miss Marvel is my number eight. My number seven is going is going to be Mister Steve Rogers himself, Captain America. Captain America is one of the most all-time greatest superheroes in the Marvel Comics universe. He's been through so many different changes and just all around ups and downs, roller coasters throughout his comic history. Um, not to mention Captain America, the Winter Soldier just came out a few couple months back and amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But I mean, all in all, Steve Rogers had to make my list. The Super Soldier Serum was one of the greatest, greatest things to ever happen to comics. And actually off of him, you stemmed off a bunch of different characters, which is actually really, really cool. Um, not to mention, I love the second Captain America in the comics, which is Bucky Barnes, um, after the Winter Soldier saga. So, I mean, all in all, Captain America, Mr. Steve Rogers had to make my list of my top ten. Been a big fan of Captain America, and the movies just keep making it even better and better. Number six for me is going to be Wolverine. Uh, everyone and their mother knows Wolverine. He's been in every single X-Men movie that's come out. Um, he's been all over 90s pop culture. Wolverine was everywhere. The 90s X-Men cartoon was huge. And 
Wolverine's basically been all over pop culture ever since then. Um, but for the most part, Wolverine actually first appeared in The Incredible Hulk 180. Uh, it was his first cameo appearance where he was in the back panel. little tiny picture of Wolverine. OG Wolverine in the back panel. And then 181 was his first appearance and it was him and the Hulk battling out. I mean, all in all, Wolverine is going to be going to have the, one of the greatest powers, in my opinion, in comic books altogether is that mutant healing factor. Not to mention he's expert tracker, he's got agility, speed, strength. I mean, he's a he, all-around very, very durable character, all-around one of the best characters in the Marvel Universe, hands down. And one of the most popular characters, like I said, even in pop culture. For number five for me is going to be The Dark Knight, Batman. So, Batman made my top ten because Batman, you, you can't have a top ten without Batman in it. I guarantee you have 90% of the people in the world give you their top ten superheroes. They're going to say Batman's on that list. Another character that's been thrown into every piece of pop culture out there and just a great character all around, the greatest detective on earth, not to mention one of the greatest tacticians in the world. Being billionaire Bruce Wayne doesn't hurt at all because he has gadgets beyond gadgets, beyond gadgets galore at his disposal. So all around, Batman had to be on my list. He's getting whooped right there by Superman. But Batman had to make my list because he is one of my favorite characters. I grew up watching the Batman animated series, reading the comics. Can't have a top ten without Batman. Sorry. Number four. My number four pick is going to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man, hands down, was one of the biggest parts of my childhood. I grew up reading Spider-Man comics, watching the original, the old school Spider-Man TV shows, all the different versions of them. Not to mention Spider-Man has been made into so many movies as well. He's been all throughout pop culture. Um, not many people can go and say they don't know who Peter Parker is. <laughs> um, basically, if you don't, you've been living under a rock. You had the three Sam Raimi movies, then you have the two Spider-Man so far from director Webb. Basically, you want to Mark Webb. You actually want to. If you haven't seen the brand new one, it just came out. You got to check it out. Great flick. Um, but for the most part, Spider-Man is when one of the m most dynamic characters in the Marvel Comics universe. Uh, multiple people have carried the mantle of Spider-Man, but I like my favorite has always been the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Close second for me would be Miles Morales, then the Doc Ock Superior Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 2099. I love Ben Riley as the Scarlet Spider. He also got Kane, which is the newest Scarlet Spider, which is a clone of the clone. Um, all in all, I mean, Spider-Man had to make my top ten. I grew up on Spider-Man growing up. He was probably one of my favorite superheroes all around. But hands down, Spider-Man is one of the greatest superheroes in all of comic books. Not just Marvel. All of comic books. He holds a special place in everyone's heart. I mean, everyone that's ever experienced anything in the comic book world, they've, they've experienced Spider-Man. He's a big part, of the, big part of every universe. Number three is actually going to be Hellboy. My my favorite character outside of Marvel and DC is going to be Hellboy. He first appeared in Next Men number 21. Um, great series, great comic book. His first appearance was really epic. And one of the... I love the comics. I love reading the comics. I'm actually really into the Ape Sapien series that's been ongoing. All in all, I love... Hellboy from the comic books, but one of the major pieces that made Hellboy make his way into the top three for me is the movie adaptations have been amazing. Ron Perlman is Hellboy. I don't care what anyone says. Ron Perlman is Hellboy and forever will be. Um, I'm really hoping they go for a third movie. I love the Hellboy movies. Like I said, I love the comics. The comics are great reads. If you haven't really read into Hellboy comics, check them out. They're really worth reading. Just start on, find find a number one, start reading the series. Uh, they also got, you can get trade paperbacks in them. But Hellboy is one series that is really worth delving into because it's got that more dark, magical feeling to it because you get more of the dark side from Hellboy. But all in all, no matter what, Hellboy had to make my top three and like I said, Ron Perlman, 
is God. Ron Perlman will always be Hellboy in my eyes. And I really hope they do another movie. Number two for me is going to be Thor, the God of Thunder. Um, I've been such a huge Thor fan since I was a little kid. Um, I actually named my youngest son Thor after this comic book character. He's been one of my favorite comic book characters since I started reading comics. Um, all around, Thor is the Norse god of thunder. They added, they adapted him. Stanley Adam adapted him to the comic books, and it was probably one of the most successful characters he's also had, aside from like Spider Man. But all in all, Thor, you can't pass up. Thor is one of the greatest superheroes, and armed with Mjolnir, um, the legendary hammer. He basically is an unstoppable force, and he always finds a way. And he has self-proclaimed himself the protector of Earth, of Midgard. Which, in our, and for us, everyone here on Midgard, that's a good thing. You don't mess around with Thor. I'm sorry. The only per person who's got balls to mess around with Thor is, really, Loki. And Loki's a little bitch when it comes to Thor. So there's always that scared scared spot in Loki's heart for Thor. But um, all in all, Thor had to make my top two. He's always been right there. He's my favorite Marvel character of all time. Um, I He didn't make number one because I have another character that you'll see is number one that has held a, much, a, a very true spot in my heart as well. But all around Marvel characters, Thor is my number one out of Marvel, but he makes number two in my all around list. So, number one. My number one pick for my all-time favorite superhero is going to be Green Lantern, Hal Jordan specifically. I mean, I love all the different Green Lanterns, and the story arcs are so cool, and I just love that whole cosmic. You can go out, and you, you're going to be the police of the cosmos, basically. <laughs> I mean, you can't really beat Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan is one of my favorite characters because he is one of the most dynamic characters in all of comic books. If you've never really jumped in to any kind of Green Lantern comics, I suggest, I mean, you can always try the New 52. My favorite series of all time is going to be the second series. Um, Hal Jordan first appeared in Showcase 22. Basically, Hal Jordan is my favorite character because of how many different directions this character has gone. He has been one of the major hitters. He's, he's currently leading the Green Lantern Corps. He's also been the destroyer of the Green Lantern Corps. The Emerald Twilight Saga is my favorite comic series of all time. It's a five series set, basically. Hal Jordan's planet, or Hal Jordan's city is destroyed, so Coast City is destroyed. He loses it, tries to bring it back. The Guardians say they're going to take his ring away. He flies to Oa, kills every Green Lantern that gets in front of him to absorb the power battery, to have enough power to bring his family and his loved ones back. Um, in doing so, he actually becomes one of the greatest JLA, JLA villains of all time as well. I mean, Parallax. Um, I'll touch in. I'll touch more into Parallax in another video. But Hal Jordan has been such a dynamic character. He's been through m just as much as everyone, if not more. That's why Hal Jordan is my favorite character. I actually have the Green Lantern oath tattooed across the front of my leg. Um, Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns have been an, one of my number one picks for a very long time. I mean, each individual team from Marvel, DC, I have my favorites. But Hal Jordan, number one in my heart. Basically, this is my favorite character since I was a kid. So that's going to be my top ten. I want to hear what you guys have to think. Um, tell me, what, what are your top ten favorite superheroes? If you had to play some, if you guys have any comments on mine or why, if you want any answers on why certain characters made my top 10 over others, let me know. Uh, go ahead and post your top 10 and any questions you may have in the comment section down below. Uh, like and subscribe to the video. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, check out my pages on Facebook. I'll leave links for everything down below in the description. Um, but whatever you do, just make sure you guys always stay open and don't be afraid to be yourself and just nerd out. All you can do in your life is be yourself. Be 100% true to yourself and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope to see you guys again. You've been watching Nerds Memorized. I'm Andrew and I will see you later.